Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works, and now the spiritual. Today, the fifth spiritual work of mercy, forgiving offenses willingly. There are actually a few different aspects to this work of mercy, and each one deserves a few words. The first is to forgive people who are looking for forgiveness, and Jesus implied that we should do this continually. After all, we surely need forgiveness more than seven times, or even seventy times seven. Forgiving a person is about more than saying you forgive them, though. In fact, most of the time, when people forgive you, you never find out about it. Forgiveness is about making the decision, in your heart, not to bear a person any further ill will because of what they did. That's how you can forgive a person in a second kind of situation, when they don't ask for or even desire forgiveness. You can make the choice inside to not hold a grudge against them, or even to nurse angry feelings against them at all. But why do that if it's not going to do them any good, you might ask? Well, because it'll do you good not to get hung up on someone who hurt you. When someone has demonstrated that they have the will to cause you harm, dwelling on their past offenses only makes you suffer even more. And is that really what you want? To give a harmful person the power to cause even more harm? There's also an element of this which is similar to the last work of mercy, bearing wrongs. When a person does something that offends us in some way, even something that offends us deeply, it can be very merciful to forgive them for it, and not to throw a fit over everything that upsets us. Keep in mind, however, that this doesn't negate the need for justice, nor does it mean that evildoers shouldn't suffer the consequences of their evil doing. Forgiving a person will give you some amount of peace in the midst of difficulty, but it doesn't mean you can't still do something about an evildoer, particularly if that evildoer is hurting people other than just yourself. Next, how can we comfort the afflicted? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.